Hey everyone, here's my review for Tekken, the movie. Now before everybody yells, how did you see this movie? Uh, well, I got my ways. Okay, I saw the movie, don't worry about it. I have seen the movie, and yeah, well, if you don't know what Tekken is, it's a big video game fighting franchise, and it's not really big on the story, but it definitely has stories inside it. Kind of like Street Fighter. Street Fighter has a little stories. Here. Well, not really. More like Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur has more stories than Street Fighter does. At least, I, I think so. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not big on fighting games, so. Uh, so yeah, Tekken definitely has a little bit of story here. So when I heard there was going to be a movie, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe they'll mix a little in here, like some rivalries here, some, you know, deaths or, well, I don't know, whatever. I saw the movie, and, uh, yeah, let's just let's just go straight into the story of this movie. Okay, now, the story in Tekken is pretty simple. It's pretty much the old revenge kind of plot, where you follow this character, who is Jin, and, you know, he's just in Japan, he's doing stuff, until his, his actual mom is killed, blown up, kablooey. They don't really show her getting killed. I guess you're just supposed to go, hey, she got killed. She got, a whole building got blown up, and she was in it, I guess, and she's dead now. So, he's like, oh, I'm all sad. So, you know what he decided to do? The man responsible for this uh, runs a tournament called Tekken or Iron Fist. I don't know which one. I, Tekken, I guess, is the corporation, and Iron Fist is the tournament. So... He goes and joins that tournament so he can beat up all the guys and then get to the guy that caused all this problems with his mom. And on the way, he meets other characters and he finds out who he really is and how he really came into this world. And it's kind of weird, but whatever. I thought the story was decent for a video game. I mean, it's the simple one. And, you know, the twist they try to throw in there, it's so freaking obvious. It really is. So, if you played the game, it might be the same. I'm not really sure. I'm not a big fan of the game. Like, I mean, I played the game, but not a big fan, like I said before. So, yeah, story's okay. Let's go into the acting of the film. Okay, now the acting in the film, I have to say, is pretty bland. The characters are not very interesting. Jin, the main character, I forgot his name. I think his name is John Lau who plays him. I'm not really sure, but he did okay. I think he was pretty cool in his little action scenes that he uh, had, so I don't know if it was actually him. Uh, no, I'm sorry, John Lu, John Fu. I'm sorry, John Fu. All right, John Fu is Jin, and he's uh, he's okay. You know, he's you know, he's 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 okay. He's tolerable. He's not as bad as someone like uh, Justin Chatwin from freaking Dragon Ball Evolution, who I, am, I mean, I guess I, I I liked him a little bit because he was so bad he was funny. Uh, not so bad he was good, but he's okay. Uh, Ion Anthony Dale, who will be playing Scorpion in the new uh, Mortal Kombat film, plays uh, kind of. I guess the father of Hihachi, if you know who Hihachi is. I mean, the father, I'm sorry, the son of Hihachi. And he's like the asshole kind of guy. You know, he's an asshole. And he play, plays a pretty good. Luke Goss plays Steve Fox. If you play the game, Steve Fox is like a boxer guy. And this one, he's kind of like a manager, which is a little weird. But I actually, I thought he did a great job. Luke Goss is a really good actor, I have to admit. And uh, he did great. If you don't know who he is, if you've seen Hellboy 2, he was the main bad guy. What was his name? Like... Um, Nefiro or some shit like that. I, I don't remember. He was in that, and uh, oh, Prince Nuada. That's right. He played that guy with all the freaking girly makeup on. And I thought he was pretty badass in that, even when he had makeup on. Uh, Kong Lee plays Law, my favorite character in Tekken, and they screwed him up completely. He's barely in the movie. Uh, they have just other characters. They have uh, Kelly Overtone. Never heard of him. Overtone. Overtone. Oh God. Uh, who plays Christy, who is also a great character. And she's very, 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 very bland. I mean, she is so boring, and uh, she's not very good. So I thought the acting was okay. I thought some people, like uh, Ion Anthony Dale, actually did pretty good. Uh, I can't wait to see how he plays Scorpion. Luke Goss I really liked. And John Fu as Jin, he's okay. But there's too many stupid scenes with him and other, another character. It, which kind of just ruined it. Like, there's a bunch of dancing scenes where they're in the techno. They were doing techno and shit. I'm like, what, doing techno? They were dancing to techno and shit. I'm like, okay, this isn't tech and this is just fucking, this is retarded. <laughs> That's all it is. So, yeah, the acting overall is okay. Let's go on to the overall of this film. Now, the reason you're going to watch this film is because it's Tekken. If you 
seen the game. It's a fighting game. You want to see fighting. You don't care about story. You don't care about if the characters have backstory because they don't. They really don't. There's like two characters that have backstory, and that's freaking it. And that's probably Jin and freaking Hihachi or I don't know someone else. I know there's someone else that has a little bit of backstory. Here's the thing: the action is very, very fun. But very goofy. If you've seen Dead or Alive, the movie, it's pretty much Dead or Alive, the movie, except for Tekken. So it's pretty much, it's corny. It doesn't have very good act, I mean, actors, not action scenes. It has good action scenes, that's why. Dead or Alive had good action scenes, very fun action scenes. So is this. This is very similar to Dead or Alive, because Dead or Alive was also a tournament-based video game to movie. Same thing with this. So that's why I thought that this movie is actually pretty fun, just like Dead or Alive. Pretty good action scenes, not great, no, I might have said great, but I think they're really choreographed very well. Uh, the acting, not very good. The story, okay. You know, the acting, I, like I said, was okay for the most part, if I have to talk about the main characters. Like, there was other people, like ne- the girl that played Nina Williams, she was terrible. Uh, Anna Williams, she was terrible. You know, there was smaller roles in there. And the guy that played Haihachi, I forgot to mention him, he was actually uh, Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat, which is another video game, and he was actually okay also. So Overall, I thought the film wasn't that bad, so if you're looking at this going, oh my god, it's going to be another bad one, it's not that bad. Actually, I thought it was pretty fun. It's better than Dragon Ball Evolution, definitely. I can definitely tell you right now, it's not going to be Dragon Ball Evolution where it's going to pretty much take the name and do absolutely nothing with it. At least they're going to give you some fighting scenes that are actually cool. So, there you go. Dragon Ball Evolution, I kind of regret giving it like a 6 or whatever I gave it before. It's so bad, it's hilarious. And this, it's actually pretty good. Just fun. So I'm just going to give a straight up 7. I never really give that score, but just a 7. So overall, I think it's okay film to watch. If it comes out on DVD, it's probably going to go straight to DVD. I recommend it. It's a good DVD rental. So there you go. That's my review. Not a bad film. I was actually very surprised. I thought it was going to be terrible. And it was okay. Not very memorable, but pretty fun. So yeah. There you go, and bye. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention about Haihachi. If you're thinking Haihachi is going to be the main villain in this movie, yeah. I just want to say that, yeah, I'm just going to let it slip there. So if you're a big Tekken fan, you know Haihachi is mostly the main bad guy. You're going to be a little disappointed, but still an okay movie. 7 out of 10. Thank you and bye.